took the world by storm there, and Jeremy Warner's off in this first ever 800 meters. And he's not entered in the fast section today. That's right. And we were told he's entered in about 154 about for a seed time. And look, this is, if you were a fan of distance running for years, you wondered what it would be like if Jeremy Warner ran an 800. His form in the eight in the 400 is so smooth. About under 25 seconds for the first 200. He's right to the front. And Meg, this guy, as we mentioned, he was unstoppable. He hasn't won a race since March of 2013, the USA Indoor Championships. He hasn't won a major global title individually since 2007. After that, LaShawn Merritt kind of took over as the 400 meter best in the world, winning the Olympics and then the 2009 World Championships. But Warner now coming through 400 meters, 50, 55. 55 flat in the first 400. And it looks like, you know, the, maybe the pack is kind of placing their trust in him because no one has tried to pass him. It is still Jeremy Warner up front. He's got another athlete to the right of him who's going to try and make a move right now. 110 on the clock. Let's see how he fights here. He's never been, he's never felt this way this far into a race before and then had to fight to win. So let's see if he's got a little fight in there. He's a lot of guys going by him. He's got speed, obviously. 124 through 600, 200 meters to go for Jeremy Warner. Warner, there he, it looks like he's trying to kick it in and there he's starting to go around guys. Let's see if he's got some wheels here at the end and run some guys down. Jeremy Warner in the orange, you see him on the outside trying to kick down these athletes. This is Jeremy Warner. He looks very, very smooth. Here he goes, Jeremy Warner through the line. Let's see what his time's gonna be. 153 flat. Unofficially for Jeremy Warner, 153 flat. An excellent controlled pace for the third fastest 400 meter runner of all time.